Hey there, this is Irv Shapiro with the Dr. Vax channel. And do you remember playing with Tinker Toys as a kid? Well, if you do, this is gonna be a ton of fun. Stay tuned and let's learn something together. Folks, in this video, we're going to engage in an activity that is both creative and educational and a ton of fun. We're going to learn how to build the equivalent of Tinker Toys using popsicle sticks and connectors. All of the connections, connectors for this model that you see on this table are called pop sticks. Pop sticks are a open source project that I designed. All of the models are listed on Thingiverse. You can download them yourself and print them on any 3D printer. Now let's talk about pop sticks generically just a bit. The whole idea is to engage in an activity where we can learn about technology multi-generationally, between generations, that as baby boomers or adults or parents, we can engage with children to learn something together. Now, I enlisted my granddaughter in order to do a field test, a beta test. Let's look for just a minute or two at her experience at opening the box and seeing popsticks for the first time. So I'd like to encourage everyone to start printing popstick connectors, building your own projects. Okay, let's go to the computer for just a minute. I'll show you where on Thingiverse you can find pop sticks and start having fun with a child today. Then in the next video, I'll show you how to design your own pop stick connectors in Tinkercad. If you wanna just print and use the connectors and not create your own, all you need to do is go to Thingiverse. That's Thingiverse.com. And in the search bo box, Type in pop sticks, one word. It'll bring up this project. I just finished uploading this project, so there's no views. You can see it was 13 minutes ago. Click on the project name, and then go over here to where it says thing files. Now you have two choices. You can click on agree and download, which will download all of the projects, all of the models at once. And you can see here I have a wide range of models. Or if you want to start with something simple, if you, let's say, we just want to connect two sticks together, we'll click on a single model, and that will download it to our computer. Now, depending on whether you're on a Mac or a PC, you have to look, remember where that download is going. In my case, on a Mac, it's going to the download folder. Okay, now we're going to prepare the model to print on a 3D printer. To do that, we use a slicer that takes our model, converts it into individual layers called G-code. I'm going to open up Cura to do that. That's the slicer I'm using for a number of my printers here. So now I'll click on Open File. I'll select our connector. You'll see it's quite small, so we can zoom in here. We can rotate this around. You'll see this is just a straight connector for two popsicle sticks. I'm gonna, going to click on prepare to convert it. It shows me it, would, it will cost about five cents. It will take 23 minutes to print this. Now I can look at what it will look like as it's printing. That's the layer view. We can see here it's gonna print the bottom. Then it's going to leave. You'll see the opening for the popsicle stick. Go up to the top and print the top. Okay, that's all there is to it. Well, I hope you're having as much fun with pop sticks as I am. I'm using them to play with my grandchildren. Matter of fact, I took them over to my neighbor who's a little older than me just to show him what was possible with 3D printing. He immediately thought about his grandchildren and how much they would enjoy these things and that they would just get it. Well, it's even more exciting 
when you sit down with a child and you design the connectors yourself and then you print them and you see how they fit together. Thanks for watching today. If you like this video, please share it with everyone you know. Click like below, click subscribe, and let's keep learning things together.